Welcome to a new episode of Unique Homes. In this video, we're exploring houses in South Africa, Paraguay, Japan, and Australia. Please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell to receive our periodic episodes and be a part of the community if you haven't done so yet. As always, glad to have supporters. Let's visit the house Hale Nanea, designed by Olsen Kundeg Architects. Hale Nanea, or the Wave House, takes advantage of its sloping site on the south shore of Kauai for dazzling views. The architects drew inspiration from the architectural vernacular of the Polynesian Islands, creating a pavilion-like space that allows for sweeping ocean views while protecting the homeowners from the elements. The Wave House is a mix of mid-century modern influences and an open, airy, tropical style well suited to the property's island locale. Situation in Kukuilua, a luxury resort and real estate community located on the sunny south shore of Kauai, the home includes many resort-like club amenities including farm access, a spa, pools, a clubhouse, island activities, and golf. The property offers unbeatable views, landscaped gardens, a network of paths and trails, and a seductive mountain-to-sea lifestyle. Two walls of windows provide stunning panoramic vistas. High ceilings with ceiling fans in the great room makes for bright and breezy interiors. The open kitchen and living area are perfect for casual entertaining. The master bedroom features an end-suite bathroom. The lanai offers ample space for relaxation and the peacefulness of a private pool. The home has a strong relationship with the land that is in harmony with the tropical environment. Meet the greenhouse designed by Sean Lockyer Architects. The greenhouse is an environmentally responsible family home built on acreage outside Brisbane. A collaboration between architect, builder, and friends, this home represents a wonderful balance of lifestyle aspiration, sustainability agenda, and rewarding process. Surrounded by bushland, the house has an open and welcoming interior with brick and wood elements. Louver windows and sliding doors allow the breeze to flow through the interior of the house, keeping it cool. In the kitchen, simple wood cabinets line the wall, while the windows act as a backsplash behind the cooktop and sink. All of the social areas of the house have large sliding wood-framed glass doors, creating an indoor-outdoor living environment. The backyard has a large grassy area with a covered outdoor dining space and kitchen and a swimming pool. Some of the bedrooms have a Dutch door adding a fun farm-inspired accent to the house. In another bedroom, wood beams like in the social areas of the house draw the eye upwards to the ceiling creating a sense of height. In the bathroom, a partially frosted glass panel provides privacy in the shower without blocking the light, while a large window beside the tub gives views of the trees. Here's the view from the garden that shows the large sliding window in the bathroom. Let's explore Himmel Trial House designed by Bowen. With the purpose of conducting the project, a retirement home, the clients found the ideal spot in a remote region in which the main character would not be the architecture, but the landscape itself. Keeping in mind these premises, 90% of the house was already solved. It only remained to propose the architecture of the house. Having the advantage of a 360-degree view of the mountain range, designing the house was not an arduous task. One of the strongest criteria of the design was to not interfere in the site conditions, leaving the vegetation untouched and avoiding invasive earth movement. 
Another crucial point kept in mind was that the house should not obstruct the view from higher spots of the Sierra, which positions the house over an irregular topography. This implantation solution makes the volume almost imperceptible entering the field, and one only becomes aware of its presence when reaching a few meters closer to it. The various shades of green, consequence of the different schedules, stations, and weather allow the views to be ephemeral and grant new landscapes every day. The choice of material derives from the logistic planning that was needed to get to the location. The solution was a prefabricated system of metallic structures. This system allows the transport to be made in distinct stages, something beneficial since the land was difficult to access. Once all of the pieces arrived, the structure montage process was of seven days, adding the previous process of manufacturing that lasted 60 days in a workshop located 200 kilometers away from the construction site. The house rests on three concrete walls, the only segment of the construction made on site, that elevate the composition and minimally interferes in the land's nature. The structural resolution ends up designating the aesthetic of the house. The structural spans become the windows and are simply closed with glass, where every square meter of the project allows the striking surrounding view to pass through, making the desired harmony possible. Meet Beachside Retreat, designed by Jenny Mills Architect. House of Calm on a windswept promontory. Sitting on the promontory of this windswept dune and rock peninsula in the Western Cape, a modern dwelling that maximizes views of the ocean and mountains was erected several years ago. The architects were challenged by this Atlantic Ocean house design and were briefed to adopt a starkly exposed glass box to a tranquil private home. It needed to feel grounded in order to induce the warm, earthy feel the client required. This meant the building was overhauled to create an enduring structure with minimal needs for preservation. The house redesign was to respond to the landscape, so the owner's experience of the home and scenery was carefully considered, not only with regard to views, but opportunities for shelter, privacy, and protection from the element. The redesign process had the building adapt to the many characteristics of the location. This was so that the views and experiences of the natural environment could be enjoyed in the different ways and scales as they occur. Detailed observations of the nature on the terrain have informed the new house design. In the newly established courtyard spaces and wind-sheltered zones, hardy dune plants and trees are taking root and growing. There's a softening to the rugged beauty. Attracting smaller birds and wildlife, architects have designed a retreat for both the house inhabitants and the outdoor inhabitants. For both clients and designers, it's been an important journey in recognizing the significance of observing microclimate and different moods associated with the immediate landscape as well as the distant views. Thanks for visiting. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to hear about our latest videos. See you in upcoming episodes.